The topic of this exemplar is hydrogen bonding, introduced through the remarkable properties of water. This is one of a number of exemplars demonstrating aspects of the pedagogical approach and features in our textbook project. We always like to start a topic with a real-life context that might engage students. The case study at the beginning of Chapter 4 deals with methane clathrate hydrates, methane molecules trapped in ice. Burning ice cubes are always interesting, but naturally formed clathrates are a serious additional environmental hazard with global warming, and a practical problem in high-pressure natural gas lines. This topic explains how methane molecules get trapped in ice, but only very weakly. Having introduced the topic with this case study, we will return to it later. Hydrogen bonding is introduced in Chapter 6 that deals with the chemistry of water. We start with the unusual properties of water for example its high surface tension, before developing the concepts necessary to explain these properties in terms of hydrogen bonding. We think it's really important to present facts first, before theoretical explanations using models. This facts before theory feature is used throughout the textbook. When discussing the unusual high boiling point of water on page 148, in eResource 6.4, there is an animation that attempts to address the common misconception that bubbles in boiling water contain air rather than just water molecules. So let's see how to access this from the ebook. You can jump to a page in the ebook very easily. You just have to go up to the page counter at the top here, type in the page number, hit return, and in this case, we've gone to the section dealing with boiling point and the unusual boiling point of water, and there is a margin icon to eResource E6.4 that if we click on, we open what I call a springboard, which basically sets the scene and asks questions to focus the student's attention on what they're about to see. If you click here, this opens up an animation, and in this case, it portrays the water molecules in the wall of a bubble in boiling water, and we'll just play the animation here. So then you break through to the inside of the bubble, and what do you see? The idea is that the questions down here focus the student's attention on the fact that there are only water molecules in there and no nitrogen or oxygen molecules that would be in air. Some of the bubble wall can be seen in the background. After covering the properties of water, the fundamental ideas of bond polarity and molecular shape are needed to understand molecular polarity. We visualize these concepts by introducing dipole moment vectors and electrostatic potential maps. These are very powerful visual models that are used throughout the textbook. Let's go to page 154 to see these representations. Okay, so we come down, we've got some exercises on bond polarity and molecular polarity and an introduction of the idea of what an electrostatic potential map is. And if we go to eResource 6.7, click on the icon, up comes the springboard again. We've got some instructions here on what to do and why. And it says to go to Odyssey. So we'll open that up. Now, Odyssey has a collection of simulations in the molecular stockroom and a whole variety of different substances here. And under the common substances, there's a section of simulations dealing with water. And uh, we've just got an ordinary ball and stick model of the water molecule here. Um, we can see the electron density isosurface model very nicely here by clicking on that. Now the electrostatic potential map can be seen like so 
if you go to the model menu item at the top you can make the electrostatic potential map transparent and see the bull and stick model inside. You can also go to the same model menu and turn on the dipole represented as a vector here. So it's a really nice way of being able to represent molecules I think. Now we're ready to explain the properties of water using the concept of hydrogen bonding. The text describes the nature of these bonds and when they can form. Once again our molecular level visualization tools give students a real feel for hydrogen bonding interactions in liquid water and ice. For example, eResource 613 simulates the changes in hydrogen bonding when ice melts. I open up the springboard. We've got some instructions here on what to do when we get to tutorial 40. And the idea is to look at what happens to the hydrogen bonds during the melting process. So in Odyssey we go to tutorial 40 and uh, we've got a simulation here of a bunch of water molecules in a solid state and we can follow the instructions over here and turn on the hydrogen bonds start the simulation and have a feel for water molecules vibrating in the solid state. Then we can increase the temperature by 200 degrees Kelvin and watch what happens. Having explained the properties of water, this topic leads nicely to the chemistry of reactions of water and in water in the rest of chapter 6. We use a spiral approach to develop concepts, whereby ideas are introduced initially qualitatively in just enough detail to make sense of the context discussed, then later in more detail, often with a quantitative perspective. For example, we return to hydrogen bonding in more detail in chapter 11 with reference to its relative bond energy compared to other intermolecular and electrostatic forces and intramolecular bonds. Back to our case study, we can now talk about the significance of the weakly held methane molecules trapped but not strongly held within a cage of water molecules networked together by hydrogen bonds. A model of a methane hydrate is accessed through eResource 4.1 on page 81. In this exemplar, I demonstrated our use of an engaging case study to introduce a topic and show its relevance in our lives. Our facts before theory approach, molecular visualization of concepts using VizChem animations and Odyssey simulations, and finally, the spiral concept development from qualitative to quantitative understanding. Go to the textbook community website if you want to learn more about our project.